Following my video on the LCS segment I recently published, presenter Gabby Durden has been met with mixed reception on the event. Twitter handle at Latigris says, I'd like to apologize to TSM and respond to the monologue. Hey everyone, after seeing the response to the DL TSM monologue, it's abundantly clear I need to say something. To start with what's most important, anyone at TSM that was hurt, bothered, or in any way discomforted by the monologue, I am truly sorry. Please know that that was never the intent. I respect the hell out of the people at TSM working their asses off to propel this organization forward and never intended to communicate otherwise. This piece was meant to tee up the history between Doublelift and his former team ahead of their first meeting back in the LCS. After someone pitched the topic and the team suggested a monologue would be a fitting structure, I agreed to work on the piece alongside our production team. It went through multiple iterations and what we landed on was what you saw on the air. Clearly, we missed the mark. The backlash is both understandable and sickening. I understand how polarizing the piece is and that there are people who are hurt by my involvement. You have a right to voice your opinion and I appreciate those who do so respectfully. I'm reflecting on this moment to inform how I approach content in the future. I also continue to be horrified by the harassment and vitriol directed at me by anonymous trolls for simply doing my job. Please remember that I am a human, not an object to throw your hatred and anger towards because of one mistake. Thanks for taking the time to read this. My goal is always to learn, better myself, and improve as a broadcaster to best convey the stories we all do care so deeply about. I love you all. The work for betterment continues. Much love, Gabby Durden. Under her tweet, again, the statement was met with reinforcement, criticism, and also confusion. Most notably, Doublelift responded with, Apologize to everyone who experienced verbal abuse and workplace harassment, then remove the useless straw man where you still see yourself as the victim, and this might actually resemble an apology. Ex-TSM executive Lena Zhu also said, Kind of weird for you to turn a traumatic experience that 25 plus people went through into a quote-unquote both sides drama piece. Others called for the blame to be shared by the production team and write themselves and not to be fronted all by Gabby herself. In this clip, we see Doublelift share his live opinion on stream. Check it out. Yeah, basically, it is tone deaf. Am I upset by it? Am I up in arms about that aspect of, of it being tone deaf? No, but uh, it is super weird. I don't think she's the one solely responsible for the segment. That's why I said they, like who, like everyone involved in letting this go, like come air, to air. I'm sure something that they've talked about, uh, yeah, probably planned for, or I don't know. I actually have no idea what their process is, but I'm sure it's more than just like one person. So that's why I said they. Like I don't think it's just solely on her for that. But the presentation, it's not really I don't like know, man. I don't know. As ill-received as the segment was, and as Riot and their presenters are in an experimental phase with their new LCS format, I think it's important for us as a community to help our favorite entertainment grow and evolve in the right direction. Constructive, tasteful, relevant, and respectful feedback can always be given in the right way. As Gabby says in her statement, she meant no ill intent and only wishes to do her job properly and well, but it still doesn't excuse the damage that has been done. What are your thoughts on her statement? Let me know in the comments below, and for more League news, click the video on your screen. Bye.